Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. For those new here, my name's Nikki. I'm a writer and editor and I post videos here on YouTube about writing, editing, reading and all the other things I love. Today we're here to do a tag, it's a booktube tag and it's called I Am A Reader Tag. Um, I will try to find out who the creator was and I'll pop it below in the spiel. If there's nothing there about it and you know who the creator is, do let me know in the comments because um, I'd love to credit them if I can't find it myself. So, we are going to kick straight off, we've got eight questions to do. I actually haven't read these ones in advance, I thought I'd quick fire this one and just see um, what comes to mind instantly, so well, it could be a disaster, we'll see how it goes. Number one, choose one word that describes a reader. Uh, I'd say adventurer, because each book takes you on a new adventure. Number two, what's the first book you fell in love with? Um, I think the first book or rather series that I absolutely um, became bes besotted with was The Vampire Diaries um, when I was younger as a child. Um, when I read them later as an adult I couldn't believe how much I'd liked them because I thought the writing was pretty weak but <laughs> at the time I thought they were the greatest thing on the earth and I reread them all several times and I absolutely loved them and I was totally in love with both Stefan and Damon. Number three, hardcover or paperback? Um, Paperback for ease of reading, but hardcover for beauty and like the aesthetic side of things. Uh, it's definitely easier not to have to lift around a heavy hardback, but they do look beautiful on the shelf, don't they, with their gorgeous covers. Number four, how has reading shaped your identity? Um, I don't know if I could say how it's shaped it. I definitely think it has. Um, I suppose if, if you ask me how it shaped it, I would say it's open my eyes to a lot of new things. Um, from books I get to n see a lot of other people's perspectives, uh, learn about places, cultures um, that I wouldn't otherwise have any contact with. So it, it definitely gives you a greater, um, more expanded view of the world I think. Number five, what book do you read when you need to be comforted? Um, it depends on why I'm being comforted I guess. Um, I don't have one go-to book. I mean if I'm just in a, a bit of a slump and I want something amusing uh, and fun just to perk me up, I do tend to grab my copy of the Vampire Empire series and just skim through to my favourite bits and read those. Um, if I'm in a more introspective mood, I like to pick up a co my copy of Les Miserables and read my favourite um, parts of that as well. So it does depend on what I'm... Um, what I'm needing to be comforted about, whether it's just a general feeling of malaise or whether I'm actually upset about something. Uh, number six, who taught you to read or did you do it yourself? Um, I'd say a bit of both probably. I mean, my mother uh, used to read me stories, um, bedtime stories, and I've, I know I've always loved books from a young age. Um, when my sister and I had playtime with my mother and she'd say, what do you want to do? My sister wanted to play with dolls and I was always like, let's read a book. Um, so my mother definitely instilled that love of books in me by reading to me and I started reading then for myself from a very young age, uh, not just for school but at home for pleasure, um, starting with things like you know the Puddle Lane books if you know those and moving up to things like the Babysitter's Club as I got a little bit older and so it's definitely been a lifelong thing that obviously originated with learning to read with my mother and at school but continuing for myself and I was often reading well ahead of my um, school level because of that. Number seven, describe your dream reading lounge. I kind of got it, I'm quite lucky. Um, here in our house we have a room that is my library music room. The bookshelves, as you know, go on behind me and off to the side here. Um, where the camera is set up here, there's a couple of uh, easy chairs, a coffee table, and then my piano and instruments and all my music stuff over in the other corner. So um, it's absolutely what I wanted. The only thing missing is one of those ladders, you know those ladders that slide along? Uh, if it had one of those, it would be absolutely perfect, but I think it's a good 98% there. And finally, number eight, what book changed the way you see the world? I think that's a bit of a hard question, because I'd say many books have at different times in my life. Um, it teaches you, as I said earlier, new things. Um, every new book you read that is about a different culture or um, a different point of view, a different time period, they're all teaching you things. Um, I guess the first one maybe that had a major impact on me that way was probably Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, which I read when I was about 13, I think, uh, 12, 13. And that definitely um, had quite a profound effect on me and kick-started my huge love for the classics that continues to this day. 
So that was the tag. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to pop the questions below if you'd like to do it yourself. Um, it's great fun. And I'll be back again very soon with another video. Bye for now, everyone.